Hello YouTube, trying to get myself situated in the car. For some reason I had Obama Phone 5 plugged in all night last night and the little red light came on like it was charging but it wasn't charging. So, 35% um, right now, hopefully I can get a little bit of juice in it on the way to work. It's 1.35 p.m. Thursday, November 9th, 2023. Chase account is overdrawn. I, I have somehow managed to forget again how to get logged into my Chase banking account, and I have no idea what the hell's going on with that account right now. Someday I gotta figure that out. It feels like something that I've been struggling on for over a year, and I still haven't managed to wrap my head around that one, which is weird because I have no problem ever getting on my Chase account. And I don't think the apps are fundamentally different, but for some reason I can never seem to grasp how to keep access to the Chase one. And of course I don't have time to go into banks at all right now. Did I see what time it is? I feel like I did, but my memory's not so good today. 1.36 p.m. Yeah, I don't have any time to go into the bank. I barely have time to do the uh, ATM cash shuffle. I think what happened, although I'm not 100% sure, is that I put money in it last time I got an overdraft notice and the end of the month came and went and some some auto payment probably for my uh, what do you call it my Costco credit card hey look there's a Kia EV6 I see those constantly at work but I don't see a lot like actually out on the road so that's pretty cool to see My camera is probably not getting it because it's in the left lane, but there it is, it's silver. Oh, Taco Bell has new signs on it. They're Oh, so as I was saying, I, yeah, my memory's really not, not good today. Um, I think it's, I think it's my Costco card that, that withdrew from there. And the last time I tried to use my Costco card for gas, it, it declined it. So. Also, my uh, Discover got recently, I, I forget where at, fast food place or something, um, yeah, I forget where at, but it was, um, I, I thought it might be because of the mishap with my mailman, I had the whole mail thing happen again, where I just forgot for an extended period of time to check my mail, and what motivated me to, to go out there again and reminded me that I had a mailbox I needed to check was being on the phone with the EBT card replacement customer service people. And you know, they asked if I could receive mail at the address and I'm thinking, oh shit, I haven't checked my mail in a long time. And I went out to the mailbox to see that the mailman had once again stolen all my mail and um, I hate car ATMs. They just don't really line up with, with my room. The guy in front of me is just sitting here blocking the lane. It's so weird. 
Oh wait, no, he's he's stuck behind people that can't get out of the parking lot. Never mind. Say, so, yeah, my 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 mailman had, again. Um, taking the little card out of my mailbox that has my last name on it and replaced it with a piece of paper that said vacant. You know, it seems to me that in order for a mailman to do that, he would need to actually contact the owner of the property, the landlord, and confirm that apartment is vacant. But that wouldn't have even been necessary. All he would have had to do is walk by door number five and, 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 and peek in the windows and see, oh, God, there's a, obviously somebody's still living here. This is, this is not an empty apartment. But now I vacant and stole all my fucking mail. Anyway, I've, I've, this is not the first time it's happened. I've been wanting to go and talk to the postmaster and just let him know, look, I'm, I, I'm, I have a federally recognized disability that sometimes prevents me from getting my mail and if my mailbox is overflowing the mailman really needs to to um as an as reasonable accommodation for my disability as is required by the ada i, I really need the mailman to to um just bundle that shit up with a, with a rubber band and, and stick it inside my door um, you know, between, between, my, between, between my screen door and my, my real door and just stick it there so I can find it and, and, and quit stealing all my mail and putting tags on my, on my mailbox that say vacant because my apartment is not vacant. I've been there for years. Anyway, I put a little nasty gram on the front of the, front of the, uh, That's an odd place for an SUV to park. I see more and more people just stopping in weird places like that. It's not okay. It's not a parking spot. All right, that's done. 141 on the Saturn clock. I'm not sure how off that is at the moment. No, uh, I know I don't have time to dig around for a smartphone that'll tell me what time it really is. So I just need to get my ass to work. Um, trying to figure out the best way to get there. Uh, sad looking to the left at the Schlotsky's building and just seeing it. The Schlotsky sign gone. I think they've recently painted it. There's a fence around it. I wonder if there's another business plan on moving into it or it's just going to be another vacant place for a while. Hope, ma 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 mailman. Yeah. So I, I know the postmaster at the post office that delivers to me because I've had I've had problems before. Um, he's a really nice guy, though. Really big guy. Um, over at, um, at least I think he's a postmaster. Over at, it's on Thomas, on the south. No, it's on the north side of Thomas, over near the old brass rail. It's actually right next to the 7 Eleven there on 40th Street. Um, yeah, I, I think I need to talk to him about it and maybe just say that you know this is this is a this is an ADA kind of thing. I do have a disability that you know, and granted, it's a it's a mental it's a hard thing to explain to people, but it's a mental disability where I just literally forget that I have a mailbox that I need to go check, and and, and it just make a big difference if if the postmaster would you know when it, when it's not getting empty, if he would just simply empty it and put it in my door. Or put a note on my door to let me know I need to empty it. Although I don't come in and out the front door very often. Um, wow, it was a gorgeous old Chevy that just passed me on the left. Um, but it, it all, it, but no matter what, needs to stop 
putting a sign on my mailbox that says vacant and stealing all my mail. That needs to stop happening, bottom line. So anyway, um, I got an email from, from uh, Discover yesterday saying that my I needed to, you know, if they'd received mail return, I needed to update my address, and of course, I, you know, I called them and I'm like, no, there's nothing wrong with my address, I just, my mailman is an asshole, that's, that's my problem, and, um, yeah, simple as that, um, I confirmed that, and I, I, and I asked, you know, well, did my card get canceled, is that why the last time I tried to use it, uh, the transaction didn't go through? And she's like, no, you're over your limit. So I, I'm, I'm locked out of the Chase app, or not the Chase app. I mean, I'm locked out of the Chase app too, but I'm locked out of the Discover app again. Um, and I think it's because with the iPhone, I'm constantly having to offload and reload and uninstall and reinstall stuff just to make room to, to export video. And because that's, that's, because it's just so, because iMovie doesn't manage space very well, you know, and and uh, it, you know, I used to be pretty good about keeping stuff on Obama Phone three for that kind of stuff, but now Obama Phone three is starting to struggle with being able to run anything. It's like the updates for the software and the OS has made it to where the phone isn't powerful enough to operate a lot of stuff and it's just constantly locking up when I try to open apps. At any rate, um, I don't remember my, my username. Hi, you're cute. Um, a homeless woman waving a sign to the left. She has got an amazingly banging body though. And I'm sure that didn't get on video. She's wearing like a halter top and showing her midriff and it is just really firm and muscular and tight. And, uh, wow. And while she's standing in the median with the sign, I couldn't read what the sign said. It amazes me that the police just allow people to stand on medians like that. And, and I saw, I saw a John John video today where he rolled through the zone was showing just how it's all been cleared off. It's kind of funny, he kept saying this guy, this guy, this guy, but in the video, I didn't see what guy he was talking about. I never did actually see a guy. In fact, it was kind of sad to see the streets so empty, like there was not any pedestrians anymore. It was just empty, for the most part, empty streets. Um, and, um, but yeah, I, I've spent so much time in the zone and, and it, it had me really thinking, well, God, where did all those people go? And I'm probably not gonna get the answer to that until I, you know, have to go eat a meal down there, either at St. Vincent de Paul or at the Andre house. Because everybody had to go somewhere. I mean, there was, you know, five, 600 people living down there. I'm wondering, you know, maybe that's some of them standing in the middle of the road there on 44th Street at McDowell. Okay, I really need to know what time it is, and the Saturn clock doesn't do that for me. It's 1.51. Yeah, I, I can't. I, I don't think I can make it from here to work in 10 minutes. I'll probably be within 5 minutes. I'm sure I'll be close enough to on time that nobody says anything. So when I got to the Chase ATM, Somebody had left their receipt hanging off the ATM. And wow, they withdrew $400 from their savings and left an available balance of $3,600.74. God, I can't even imagine what it's like to have $3,000 in the bank. And, and that was their savings account. I can't even imagine that. I, I'm just doing my best not to have that bitch overdrawn. I'm talking about checking. I mean, it's any, any, any of us trying not to be overdrawn, I'm trying to make headway on my debts, but it just doesn't seem to be happening. Because, in spite of how much I work, I could just never seem to have enough money. I got eighty-one dollars and seventy-nine cents in the Chase account. So, at least it's not overdrawn, and presumably I won't get any overdrawn fees. I gotta figure out how to get back. I, you know, I, I, I need, I need 
to as much as I, I want to work if there's available work tomorrow I think tomorrow I just need to spend the whole day trying to get on top of my accounts and figure out what the hell's going on with my mental health thing it hasn't contacted me back when they're supposed to be getting me into a court ordered um, anger management always just starts out with like one or two and I just want to say a couple of things that happened and then I just start doing it on everyone because it's comfortable and and helps break up the loneliness and anyway so last last the main thing I was talking about was how last night ended at work it was pretty awesome and the, the bummer is now I don't remember the names of the two, and it, as it was, I remember, I was remembering one name and forgetting the other name already, well now I've already forgotten both names, and when I thought I was recording yesterday, but it wasn't recording, I was still able to remember the names and say them, and record them, which allows me to go back and, and remember them. Um, it was, um, anyway, um, the the black woman that I really, really like that works overnights. The one I talked about dresses like really Afrocentric, but like at the same time was wearing a Beavis and Butthead uh, hoodie, which is an odd uh, juxtaposition of uh, cultural attire, to put it mildly. Um, but I dig her. She's cool as fuck, and she's just always... She's the only, like, Hertz employee whose job is to do car check-ins who when it's dead and she's just sitting there doing nothing has offered to help me because she sees how much I'm walking around and I'm, I'm by myself and and you know, a lot of people waiting at the curb there at Terminal 3 a lot of attractive women waiting at the curb at Terminal 3 um, so she she uh, her and then the woman who was doing overnight check-ins at um, Dollar who might know if I've ever met her before. Um, she's very top heavy. The gal from Dollar. Um, like just looking at her hurt my back. Um, I mean my 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 ex-wife had absolutely enormous breasts and by comparison they were small compared to the other woman that was helping me last night. So anyway, um trying to remember it's it's kind of coming back to me so I, I had my last uh, so I think the last one I shot I was talking about how I, I had gone into the glass area with a, with a car that had a broken windshield and discovered a, just a huge amount of vehicles over there with pop trucks that needed to go out Nobody told me about them. Now, I, I went in that area at the earlier part of my shift, and there were none there. And it's funny, because I like had this discussion with Chris, the manager, and he was telling me about how I needed to move one that was in the pink line over the yellow line, which I, I had moved to the pink line, because I, generally speaking, something that puts it in the pink line takes precedence over something that puts it in the tire line. 
but the exception of that, I guess, is that as a MM inspect, because apparently unless the tire stuff is complete, then the MM inspection can't can't proceed. At least, at least that's that wasn't really explained to me. That's kind of what I had to extrapolate from that. Um, actually, we got into more explanation of what's going on with the, the Ford, the most recent Ford recall. Ford had so many recalls. Oh my God, I don't understand why anybody would even consider buying a new Ford at this point. Like, I've lost count of how many Ford recalls there have been since I've been working on Hertz. Working at Hertz, moving around new Fords and taking them out of service to get whatever recall, whatever fix is needed for whatever new recall. The Explorers, though, the Explorers are beyond the point of ridiculous with the recalls. Anyway, I don't understand why Chris didn't even mention the, and, or why Chris didn't text me to let me know, know there were pop trunks. Because he knows I'm working by myself, you know, and that's not an area that I'm constantly in, and maybe I just need to keep an eye on it better. And I just kind of felt like I had. Anyway, I was moving all those, and I was overwhelmed by that, and I'm not, you know, wondering just how late I'm going to end up having to stay after 10.30 to deal with that. And I took, I, I had a second one, I had a second one that was seemed like a good contender to go over to, to Dollar. So I drove over to Dollar to pick up my last car that was in the maintenance line at Dollar and bring it back. And then I'm, I'm right back to working on, uh, right back to working on getting the cars from the glass area to the north side dirty line, the kick out line for the car washers to wash them and get them put up. And, and, God, I, 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 I expressed this so clearly on the way home last night. For some reason, my phone didn't record. Um, so anyway, I'm walking, I'm walking back from the, from the kickout area to back to the glass area, but I noticed that somebody had rolled up in a Tesla Model Y, and I'm just figuring it's probably a car washer. Possibly the EV guys bringing it to the to the to the gatekeeper, but more likely a car washer. And I always like it when I can actually talk to the car washer and find out why they're bringing it to me, because a lot of times they don't mark it very clearly. They don't mark it at all, and I'm having to play detective on what the fuck is wrong with this car. Um, and then there's the twit that keeps using black marker on a window that's completely illegible out there at night. And his handwriting and inability to spell words in English isn't helping it either. Um, so, someday I need to make a video collage of all the ridiculously bad spelling of things that get written on Windows by Hertz employees. I didn't realize the word tire was such a hard word to spell, but I've learned at least four misspellings of tire or tired since working at Hertz. And I would be fine if they wrote T-Y-R-E, because, I mean, that's a legitimate spelling, I think, in, in the UK. I think that's how the Brits spell tire. But, no, I get some weird spellings for tire. Um, so, wow, I'm just about to work. I better try to wrap this up. Uh, what time is it? charge I got an Obama phone 5 it's up to 62% it's charging well 202 so I'm late but not <laughs> by MLS standards I'm early so there's that by, by me at MLS standards I'm real early uh, hey look there's a Polestar 2 on my left with California plates I'd be willing to bet money that that's that's a Hertz return can I remember the last three digits California 918 Let's see how long until I see a gray, gray Polestar 2 with California plates ending in 918. I'm sure I'm going to be seeing that car soon. Um, so, uh, wow, and there's another, another Polestar 2, white one. 
There's definitely way more of those in service as rental cars than there are people actually driving them that own them. As you see, there's plenty of them here around the rental car center. It's not very often I'm driving around Phoenix elsewhere that I've seen them. So, so anyway, the Tesla was the gal that does the overnights that kind of were always, she always wears like the African um, earrings and stuff. And it was her, and then she had the uh, rather top heavy gal that does returns over at Dollar in the back seat for some reason. Not in the passenger seat, but in the back seat. It, you know, I was wondering why that was, but I never asked. I just hopped in the passenger seat because I, I like hanging out with the other gal and I felt figured that got me closer to her. Um, but yeah, she asked if I needed any help. I'm like, well, actually, so we can help you. And I'm like, oh, that would actually, that would be great. I said, I've got a ton of cars over in the glass area, which is right in front of me right now. In the glass area, I need, I need help. I, I really need help just moving them over to the kickouts. It's not very far. Because I'm over here doing this shit by myself on foot. Anyway, they, they helped me all night. I, I went into a lot more detail last night. The phone didn't record it. But, but yeah, they helped me. And it was a really, really sweet, good time. And at one point, uh, Mike Meyer, the manager, came over there and asked what was going on. And was really happy to find out that, that, that more cars had happened. And I, I told told the woman from, from the Hurt side, it's like, well, hey, well, next time you talk to Meyer, let him know that, like, I did that. I don't think he realizes just how much shit I do around there. But, um, but yeah, he, uh, but yeah, he came over there, and I guess he probably contacted An Andrew, uh, MLS night manager Andrew, because a while, not too long after that, Andrew rolled up, and I guess he was going to try to put a crew on it or something. But by the time Andrew showed up, I'd already gotten it all handled. He seemed a little bewildered. I did it the way I did it, but. But it's just like, no, it's all right. You're going with your, what you, what you, you know, you're going with what you know, and that's. Uh, but wow, good job, thank you. On that note, it's Thursday. It's kind of my Friday. Get in there and get to it.